I went to my OB doctor when I was 20 weeks pregnant, really just thinking we're just gonna find out the sex of the baby, you know, whether we're having a boy or a girl. The technician spotted an abnormality, which led the Brinkers to Cincinnati Children's. They got a diagnosis of post-urethral valves and were told that a severe bladder outlet obstruction was damaging Aiden's kidneys and inhibiting his lung development. Aiden's particular situation, if we didn't treat would result in 100% mortality of that baby. A vesicostomy, and so they explained we will do a C-section, bring your baby out, open up his abdomen, and pull the bladder forth and sew his bladder to the outside of his abdomen um, and so that it'll get the pressure off his urological system and then put him back in. Aiden has done remarkably well. That operation, as, as extensive as it was, as high risk as it was, did really well. He has had a very good outcome. Aiden had his vesicostomy reversed as an infant, and then a damaged kidney removed when he was 18 months old. However, his remaining kidney has normal function, and he is now a healthy 12-year-old boy. He loves sports, and so he's played basketball, he plays golf, he's got a lot of energy, always on the go, and it's not stopped him from doing anything. It's actually amazing to see where Aiden has, has reached in his, in his life and in his care story. This is the goal we have for our children and patients in our care, to have a full life, to focus not just on their bladder, but on their whole life. We established the post valve center here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital in order to ensure that we provide a comprehensive safety net for children who are born with a diagnosis of post valves. With over 200 active patients, the PUV Center brings together specialists in pediatric nephrology and urology, as well as pulmonologists, developmental specialists, nutritionists, and psychologists. Having this comprehensive group of dedicated, focused specialties that we know these children need is going to be really um, important for them as they grow and develop. Somebody that steps into this diagnosis today has one place that they can go to get the information and then follow up with a contact directly with these doctors.